whenever you see poverty, corruption, governance issues, it's an institutional failure problem, period. So essentially we have to go back and say how do we strengthen institutions? Because once institutions are strong, they are going to define the appropriate incentives, rules of the game, and we are going to help in terms of fighting poverty sustainably. Regional integration is central to any development effort on the continent. Unfortunately, existence of multiple monetary zones and censored mobilities across borders have made the regional integration agenda unrealizable. Between Nigeria and Cordova, you have more than 120 border controls and a journey that ought to have lasted for about seven hours eventually took two days to accomplish. One of the outputs will be continued poverty because you see individuals spending more to conduct a single business tra transaction. Eventually, the cost will be returned to the final consumers, which are usually people that are already disempowered. You need to have proper police trained in investigations. I would actually propose us introducing short courses where police officers come in to the institution after hours and are updated on the latest uh, changes, policies, etc. So that when a crime is committed, they have the actual know-how of dealing with a crime scene. So at the moment what we're having to face right now is separating the politics from running the institutions. And how can politics now hold institutions accountable? The ministers or the MPs who are trying to get more votes into the parliament are spending this money by directly giving the poor. You know, a poor man will do anything. And that's the majority of our people. People see here short term, but they're not seeing long term. And what's one of the dilemmas of being a poor person? You live for today. Most African countries, for instance, are finding it difficult to translate in their natural resource of wealth into economic development. What, how countries use the uh, resource revenues depends on the quality of uh, economic and political institutions that is in, in place. In, in places where institutions are weak, resource rents goes into financing luxurious uh, government consumption expenditures, usually on uh, state uh, offices. Countries that are not managing their finances well should not receive development assistance. And if this happens, African leaders will think twice when they are taking decisions about how to spend state money. Some of the aid that was given in the 1980s did not have a positive impact in the 1990s. And that's because it takes time to build uh, consensus, to build uh, knowledge uh, in terms of people believing in reforms, right? It doesn't happen overnight. So the point is that uh, we, have to be, we have to be careful in our analysis and we have to be patient uh, in terms of looking at the impact of aid. If you see aid per capita, aid per person, per year, it's quite small. In some cases, it's like $10. Now you ask yourself, what can $10 do in a year to change somebody's livelihood? So that is where the challenge is. The size of aid, in my view, it's small. Uh, then the issue of coordination, aid coordination, is also a challenge. Where uh, in my country, for instance, Ghana, we have 23 multilateral donors and 23 bilateral donors. That is 46. And all of this with different policies, different requirements, different strategies, it becomes very difficult. The transactions cost of aid becomes high and costly. Therefore, the need for coordination. I think sometimes it's uh, uh, cases where donors think that they know best and they mix the having the resources with having ideas. You know, you can have resources, but you may not necessarily be the most intelligent or knowledgeable person around. So I think it's a partnership whereby ownership should primarily be by our own governments. But I think uh, Sweden and other development partners need to think about how to assist the African countries to plan for the future, to plan for a future in which there will be no aid. 
it's possible. I believe that uh, with uh, clear actions in place, there should be a future in which there is no aid.